We all want to do big damage in Skyblock. This is probably because we all have a genocidal maniac deep inside of our brains, but we also like to see numbers go up. Because, well, big number, better person, right? That's why I'm going to be going over how you can do over 500,000 damage with a single click using a setup with 10 million coins. And it has very little Rex to actually do. So, how am I going to be doing this? Well, first, I usually start off with hitting that subscribe button, because for every subscriber I get in the month of February, I'm donating 10 cents to a charity of your choosing. This can be anything from the Turkey earthquake to whatever the hell you guys decide. So, make sure to subscribe, because it actually does make a difference for a good cause. Okay, now that the plug's over, how am I actually doing this? I'm going to be using a weapon that I used in an event a few weeks ago. So, long story short, I got into invited to a Crater Crash event hosted by KD. The main point of the event was to kill mobs with the tougher mobs giving more points, hence when I discovered the Aurora Staff. It is literally the perfect early game weapon. Here's why. Number 1. Aurora Staff has no requirements. You don't need a certain combat level or catacombs level to use it. You can use it with combat 1, catacombs 1. Number 2. The mana cost is infantile. You will never run out of mana when you use this weapon. Even if you use it with Doblin Armor. You will never run out of mana. And finally, it does big damage in scales really, really well. Add a bonus, it only costs you a million coins. A million coins. That's so cheap. So the Roar Staff is our weapon, right? And it costs average 1.1 to 3 million coins from EH, depends on the time of day. And this is insanely cheap when accounting for how much damage this does. Spending a million coins on a weapon and having it do 400k damage a hit is insane. Now, there are a few drawbacks with this staff. Number one, the cooldown. Now, it's a one second cooldown, so you can't spam it and you can only deal so much damage per second. Two, it's a single hit weapon with no AoE. And even with the Aurora armor ability, the explosion itself is, well, pathetic. I'm sorry, 4k damage in the explosion when I'm hitting for 380k? Like, what the fuck is 4k gonna do? Pickle the monsters? It also sucks to aim, but that's more of a skill issue than anything else, so, you know. Can't blame the Aurora staff for that one. But the 10 million setup I'm using is also going to include armor, accessories, and everything else to actually do this feat. So, what are we using? Going with the theme of Aurora gear, we're going to be using Aurora armor, which costs 2.2 million coins for 3 fourths, but you do need combat 24. But you can also use uh, Wise Dragon armor if Aurora is too expensive or too hard for you to get. For the helmet, you want to use the highest tier of wiggle goggles you can get. That is supposed to be with the goggles, yes. But because this is directed for early game players, we're just using shadow goggles as it doesn't cost much and the combat wreck isn't too bad. Now for the pets. The obvious choice is sheep, right? Sheep is like the best pet, mage-wise, for a reasonable price, excluding g bag and Age bag But it is still too expensive for us to use for this setup, costing 5.5 mil for an epic level 100, which is over half of our budget. So I'm going to be spicing it up and recommending a level 100 epic guardian pet. Why? Well, because it gives the same intelligence as a sheep, and its laser ability is pretty slept on for new players. It also only costs you 2.6 million coins for a level 100 epic, so it's half the cost of a sheep. Next, equipment. I'm going to be using a black belt. You get this from the dojo, and technically I don't actually have a black belt, so I'm using a brown belt. I'm too skill issued to get a black belt, but we don't need to talk about that, okay? We then are going to be using Ender Cloak plus Necklace, and again, they're free. There wasn't really any other good alternatives for cheap here. And finally, we're going to be using a Glowstone Gauntlet with Mana Pool 3 for 700k. This leaves the rest of the money around 2.2 million coins for talismans. Now, the obvious Reforge is cited. It is the best mage Reforge besides Bazaar. And why the hell would eccentric paintings give you more intelligence? And then, like, Albert Einstein spent his days looking at eccentric paintings, and that's why he became a genius. So I spent 2.2 million coins on talismans, most of them including free talismans such as the cheetah talisman or the pig's foot talisman, and just buying the rest cheap talismans I could from AH. And from this, I got a magic power of 219. Not too shabby. And an additional 350 intelligence isn't bad either. Alright, so this is the 10 million coin setup. As we can see, we have 3 force necrotic aurora with a necrotic dark goggles. We have a necrotic aurora staff. I actually bought this staff with the two slots unlocked for 1.1 million coins. 
Then we have, of course, our guardian pet right here. Then, of course, we have our accessories. I hate where they moved it, but it makes sense. All these we can get for under 2.2 million coins per, or in total. And it's giving us 350 intelligence. Then, of course, we have our equipment, ender necklace, ender cloak, glistening brown belt, and a glowstone gauntlet. First, let's test out against a normal zombie to see how much this actually does. Alright. 346,000 damage. Wow. That's really, really good. About 346,000 damage from the Aurora staff. That's really, really not that bad. Issue is you only fire once every second, but we still have not even tested out the Guardian Pet ability yet, which deals damage to mobs once they are aggroed on you. Issue is we have to not one-shot them. So if we see if we hit them, we're doing 119,000 damage per hit with the Guardian Pet. Not too bad. So now I'm actually going to go away. Summon in a tier 4 revenant just to show you how good this actually is. I can hit a guy, attack another, and then a guardian pet will finish it off just like so. Spawning it in. One. Alright, I, I need to actually hit it to get the guardian pet to work. I could have done that better, but that was still a pretty fast boss, and it was incredibly easy. It was 9 seconds, but I could have done that a lot better. And the reality is, 450,000 damage every single time you click is not bad at all. 346,000 damage coming from this ability, and the other damage coming from 119,000 from Guardian Pet. Now, there is a few, few things I need to mention here, okay? Number one, this is obviously on my main account, which means it's a little bit scuffed. In the sense that I'm almost combat 60, so I have almost 210% extra damage dealt to mobs. Because you need combat 24 to actually unlock the Crimson Isle armor, you'll probably have 100% more damage to mobs. So if you're only combat 25, you're probably doing a third of the damage that I'm dealing because of how the numbers work. I also have maxed out enchanting, which actually isn't too difficult to get, but it does give you a fair amount of ability damage. So just keep that in the back of your mind that I am using high stats when doing this armor. And if you're starting this out with a new account with maybe enchanting 30 and combat 25, you'll probably only be doing some of the lines of 180 to 200,000 damage, I want to say, per, per shot you do with this. Guardian pet damage won't change by much, though. What's it on think? Having a 10 million coin setup deal 500,000 damage from a single click is absolutely insane. Even with some, like, the good setups I have, like this Terror and a Giant Sword, I can I can hit 500,000 damage, but it costs me a lot more than 10 million coins. Point is, Aurora Staff is really, really broken. Issue is, you cannot spam fire it, and doesn't have a big AoE. It's still really, really good, though. So, I think we thoroughly proved that Aurora Staff is pretty busted. Now, of course, tailor this to your own needs, but this is actually a really, really solid weapon. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe, like, and thank you so much for 20,000. Should be 20,000, I think. Either way, see you guys next one. A peace.